from the capital city of Charleston, West Virginia, this is Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. Welcome back to Inside West Virginia Politics. It's hard to imagine that Christmas is right around the corner, but it is, and deadlines are quickly approaching, and the United Way wants to remind people of that. So Barb Mallory is here, statewide director of West Virginia 211. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. And just why don't you tell us a little bit about West Virginia 211 and some of the services out there for people who may not know. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for asking about that. West Virginia 211 is our statewide um, hotline for information referral. So if you need help and you have no idea where to start, just dial those three numbers and we'll be able to connect you with resources in your area. We also have, uh, you can also text eight, your zip code to 898-211. We can take your, your uh, request for information that way or you can chat with us on wv211.org. And this is for anything. This is a house fire. Yes. Um, if you are having trouble paying some bills, this yes. is really a, a big service. It honestly is and we make a difference in people's lives. It's We've had calls that range from somebody sleeping on a porch that was pregnant that needed housing to somebody that's child had a stroke and needed a, a ramp built for their home. We're able to connect them to resources. A lot of folks don't realize how rich our state is in resources. And so let's talk a little bit about some of the resources coming up for the holiday season. I know this can be a tough time for families. It is, it is. There's a lot of families needing help. And so the United Way for several years has had a Christmas Bureau. And what we do is we have organizations ranging from social service agencies to ministerial associations to just um, organizations that popped up because there was a need that provide Christmas assistance, it, to food, toys, things like that. We all come together in July every year. We have Christmas in July and we meet together and we determine eligibility and um, criteria for who's gonna be eligible to sign up. And then we find sign up locations in all three counties that we cover, which is Boone, Kanawha, and Putnam. And uh, tell me a little bit about if someone is interested in, okay. in this, what, what criteria do you look at for? Okay, so in Boone and Kanawha County, <clears throat> the toys are provided for children ages 12 and under. And to be eligible, you need to receive SNAP benefits or the children have to have Medicaid cards. And we have sign up locations, like I say, at different locations, or you can download them from our uh, website. Or just, it's the best thing to do is just call us and we'll tell you, you know, how to sign up. Now, Putnam County is a little different. The toy providers in Putnam County provide toys and gifts for all school age children. They're, the 12 is not a limit but the qualifications are the same. It would be SNAP benefits or a Medicaid card. And we're obviously on a statewide show here, so for right. people in the outskirts of West Virginia, out in the different corners, can they possibly get some assistance? Maybe not through the Christmas Bureau, but. Right, a lot of areas do have programs. So I would call 211 and ask them if they're aware of any programs. Um, or you could call your local DHHR. Sometimes they're aware of programs and sometimes they actually run those programs. So no, back here near Charleston, that deadline is coming up. I know November I don't want to think Christmas is around the corner because I've done no shopping, but it is coming up very quick. It is, and folks don't understand why we have an early, early deadline. The deadline for most of the providers is November 1st. We have a few that have later deadlines, but that's where you need to call us so we can check your zip code. Everything's very zip code specific. But we have early deadlines because we have thousands of children that are provided toys. That's not an easy task for these agencies to undertake. So they have to find sponsors or they have to shop. There's a lot that goes in behind the scenes that folks don't see. So that's the reason for the early deadline. And like we said, that deadline is coming up. How many children do you normally service in families a year with the Christmas Bureau? And you were saying it's been a little bit slower this year. It has, and it has me concerned. We serve uh, about 2,400 families every year, and that's all of our agencies. There's about 30 of us, uh, well, agencies and schools that participate. So that's about 2,400 children, or families, I'm sorry, with children. This year, we've only got less than 500 applications, and that's, pretty slow so we really want to get the word out so families realize there's help there we want to these families need to be taken care of and that's what we're here for absolutely anything else to share uh, for anybody out there that may need to know well just call us at 304-414-4405 we'll take your zip code and tell you where to sign up and, and what you need to do to get help all right, thank you so much, Barb Miller. Thank you thank for you having for me. <laughs> Appreciate everything that you do in the community and in the state. Thanks. 
And thank you so much for joining us here on Inside West Virginia Politics. We're also a podcast you can download wherever you get your podcast. Thank you so much. Have a great Sunday, and we'll see you here next Sunday.